Hey guys, it's Summing Rush. Today we're going to be talking about brawling in a medium tank. So, for this replay, I'm going to fast forward it because it's driving, but we're on Malinovka. Now, Malinovka is one of those maps that gives the illusion that it's an open map, but really it isn't. There's only one flank you can go to, and when you go there, uh, you're against people who are in front of you. So there's not many options for flanking. Uh, the only options that are available are suicidal. Um, so inevitably, you're forced into this position where you have to fight people who are you know, directly in front of you, and a lot of the times they're going to be in extremely armored heavy tanks. So, what you can see I've done is I've pushed up to the hill, obviously that's where you want to go, and from here I'm going to be doing this aggressively. Now I've looked at their team lineup, and realistically I'm the fastest person in this game apart from the 62 and the M46, but I, I wasn't worried. When I got up to the hill I was sure that I would be the first here, and so what I'm doing from this location is I'm getting early shots on the people who want to get to the hill. So. This is where speed is really, really important. A lot of people will see a hull down tier 10 tank and they'll get really, really scared. So what I'm doing is I'm being aggressive. You know, I'm obviously taking hits and things like that, but this is going to benefit my team drastically. I'm sort of using my hit points to keep the enemies in really, really terrible positions. Obviously, you can see that right here. So at this point in time, I've been clicked. I see the mouse coming. I'm going to fall back because I don't want to get clicked again. I'm going to let some of my teammates get into the fight. You can see... I bought them enough time for the T10 to join me, and there's an IS-7 and the WZ who are also joining me in this engagement. So uh, that's that's what I've done here. You can see I start moving up because I have teammates. Hopefully the clickers will shoot at them, uh, so that's less risk to myself. And from this perspective, we're just shooting at people who are basically in a bowl. You can see the Type 4 Heavy, the mouse, and the ST1, as well as the whole team, is, is locked in this bowl, and we totally control this engagement. So... This has happened because I set our team up to, for success, right? The only reason they're stuck down here is because I was as aggressive as I was. Uh, and you can see I, I am continuing to be aggressive, but eventually I'm going to start losing HP, so I'm going to fall back. So this is important because what would have happened, like I'm going to pause it here, because what would have happened if I had let that Centurion and the M46 up to this uh, this cover here, they would be able to do the same to us and that would give their heavies time to move up. You can see by being as aggressive as I was, this lets my teammates get hull down cover and that's amazing. Like You want to set your team up to do well if you want to consistently win games. And in this game, I definitely did that. So I, by no means am I taking credit or anything, I'm just showing what I, I, like what I did. I've allowed the teammates to use amazing positions and this is extremely helpful, so. What we're going to continue to do is we're just going to continue to hull down fight. Again, I don't really care if I lose H HP. I'm losing uh, a lot of credits, though, as you can see. And we're going to slowly give them ground. Now, I'm not worried about this because they're bleeding so heavily as they push up. I just don't want to get killed while I do this. But you can see, if for, for them to push up this is so costly because we took such aggressive positions. They have to... Uh, they're basically walking in in some sort of like a bog. It's like that. It's so slow for them. They're just getting pounded as they do it. It's very impractical. They're not going to win this fight basically because of how I set it up right at the beginning. So, um, you know, this is important. You're going to see eventually they're going to get up here and that happens. But look how much HP they've spent to get to this location. <laughs> the ST1's almost dead. The Type 4 Heavy is a two shot. The Mouse is a four shot. Sent, sent 1 is a one shot. And this is how you create Raffle Stomps. We're going to win this so heavily because we took aggressive positions and it's going to pay off. You're going to see here I make a bit of an error. I take a hit from the Type 4 Heavy. It's 544. But the second he shoots, I'm going to try to shoot back. Uh, and I'm sort of judging whether or not I want to take hits from my team. I look at them. They're full HP. So I was just not going to take much risks right here. So this is the lesson. This is how you brawl in mediums. It's okay to use your hit points at a certain point in time. And then once you sort of start losing them, you don't really want to go spending them. You can see, I didn't know if the Type 4 Heavy had shot. I missed it. I was looking at my map. Uh, so I'm not even going to poke. Even though the Tiger took the hit, I wasn't going to take the risk that the Type 4 Heavy was loaded and uh, was just holding a shot to kill me. So we end up winning the hill with 3k damage. We ended, we ended up taking about 1,324 HP. So we're going to push right into them. I mean, this game's over. <laughs> and, and that's how this, this World of Tanks works in general. This is how Raffle Stomps happen. You can see uh, we just totally destroyed them. There's only one flank that's viable on this map. And naturally, if there's only one flank that's viable and you win that flank, your team is going to be set up for success. So you can see that's happening right here. We're pushing down into the Maotian. And effectively, we're just sort of farming damage. So I hope this video was helpful because it really demonstrates uh, my my views on the game. <laughs> I, I think it's incredibly advantage like advantageous to go and 
take positions aggressively and then play from there. So, yeah, um, <laughs> you, you can see it's just me bouncing off the side of a T-34 and pushing into them from here. But this is how I set this game up to try to increase our chances of winning. And obviously it worked out. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let's go take a look at the end plates. Alrighty, so as you can see, that was a Mastery Badge First Class Top Gun. Uh, and honestly, this is the type of result you would not expect if your team did as well as we did. Like normally, you're not going to get a master badge if your team wins like 13 nothing. Effectively, it was like a huge raffle stomp. So, um, yeah, I think it's it's the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> I've never said that in a video, but the, this example is very common, and I try to feature this type of game a lot because it's real. It happens commonly for your team to just win, and the way to get damage, like, and, and the way to get damage and to win is by winning positions that give you a huge advantage and then playing them accordingly. Obviously, I wasn't going to go try to out-armor this Type 4 Heavy as he was pushing into me, but I made it so slow. Or he came so slow into me that I was able to consistently reload, and the whole team was just able to wreck him as he tried to drive up the hill. So this game is won by speed a lot of the times. It's just it's just the way it is. Eventually, you, you, know, you do have to pull back, like I did with uh, eventually as they started to pressure me, but... We, we punished them so hard for trying to take the hill that, that it ended up working out. So, yeah, this is why hill is so important, and this is why I say don't scout, because when you scout, I can just point it out. What map was that? Malinovka? This is, this is why, because the <laughs> this game illustrates perfectly how important the hill is. Everyone wants to go here, so if you get the first positions and you suppress them while they're climbing up, they get clicked, they get farmed. That's very, very relevant. So this is why I don't scout the field in my lights or whatever, because I want to encourage my teammates to take the hill. And then also, if I'm not wasting time scouting the campers in the field, I can go try to do that. So um, th this is just my perspective on the game. Give it a try. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hope this video is helpful. If you want to see more, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. But, you know, give this a, tr a shot. Try to apply this, this same mentality to other maps, because if you can win a position and then farm people uh, you know, as, as, as they try to get into a position, a lot of the times that's really valuable. So, I mean, the ideal way to do it would be to be able to like sit up here or something and farm all the way down, but normally tanks aren't fast enough to do that. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye for now.